मॉर्निंग आई एम डॉक्टर दीपांजन हल्दर कंसल्टेंट हेमेटोलॉजी हेमेटोंकोलॉजी एंड बोन मैरो ट्रांसप्लांटेशन अटैच एट पुखार्ड हॉस्पिटल नॉर्थ बॉम्बे एज फुल टाइम कंसल्टेंट आई एम वर्किंग विद पुखार्ड हॉस्पिटल सिंस द ईयर टू थाउजेंड एंड फिफ्टीन ओवरऑल आई हैव मोर देन टेन ईयर्स एक्सपीरियंस इन द फील्ड ऑफ हेमेटोलॉजी हेमेटोंकोलॉजी एंड बोन मैरो ट्रांसप्लांटेशन टूडे आई एल बी टॉकिंग टू अबाउट बोन मैरो ट्रांसप्लांटेशन सो वॉट इज बोन मैरो ट्रांसप्लांटेशन सो बिफोर दैट वी नीड टू नो वॉट इज बोन मैरो सो बोन मैरो इज द ऑर्गन इन आवर बॉडी विच इज प्रेजेंट इन साइड द लॉन्ग बोन्स which forms our blood that is it forms our hemoglobin wbc or the white blood and the platelets uh why do we do a bone marrow transplantation there are various disorders of blood for example it could be blood cancers for example acute leukemia lymphoma multiple myeloma so on and so forth as well as various states of bone marrow failure in which the blood does not form in the bone marrow for example aplastic anemia or certain disorders which with which are associated with decreased formation of blood for example thalassemia and hemoglobinopathy such as sickle cell disease so in these these disorders there is de- decreased or absent formation of blood in the bone marrow so what we do in bone marrow transplantation is we give the patient various uh, quite high dose chemotherapy alone or chemotherapy plus radiotherapy which kind of destroys the patient's bone marrow completely so how do we rescue this for rescuing this we give the patient stem cells so from where do we obtain these stem cells these stem cells can be obtained from the patient himself which is known as autologous bone marrow transplantation or these stem cells can also be obtained from another donor which is known as allogeneic bone marrow transplantation who can be a donor for uh, the patient so the most ideal donor would be a matched sibling donor that is a matched donor within the patient's own family I, this could be either matched brother or matched sister sometimes the patient does not have matched donor in his or her own family in thus in such a situation we look uh, for the patient's gen- uh, genetics type in the bone marrow uh, donor registries which are available across the world to see if in the donor registries there is any match available for the patient so suppose the patient does not have any uh, matched donor in the family or there is no no matched donor even in the registries so in such situation we go ahead with either half match transplantation which is also known as haplo identical transplantation or transplantation through umbilical cord blood so these are the various sources of uh, bone marrow stem cells so again to summarize this could be either the patient himself or herself which is known as autologous transplantation or this could be allogeneic transplantation in which we could obtain the stem cells from the patient's matched donor or, uh, which could be either matched uh, brother or sister or matched donor from the registries or cord blood or even half match transplantation how do we do bone marrow transplantation so we give the patient very high dose chemotherapy which kind of destroys the patient's marrow and subsequently we infuse the patient stem cells which we have obtained from one of these sources so these stem cells go and start making the uh, bone marrow that is starts making the patient's hemoglobin wbc and platelets during this period uh, the patient is quite immunosuppressed and susceptible to infections so we keep the patient in special uh, room that is hepa filtered room with laminar flow to prevent infections as well as we keep the patient supported through uh, blood product transfusion so that the patient uh, uh, is at less risk of bleeding and at less risk of uh, having other complications once the patient's uh, stem cells starts making the uh, bone marrow the process which we call as engraftment then the patient's wbc count that is the white blood cell count and platelet count slowly starts increasing and then at that point of time we discharge the patient and we follow up the patient on an opd basis so on an average for bone marrow transplantation the patient needs to stay in the hospital for approximately 3 to 4 weeks and after discharge we make sure that the patient is doing fine on opd basis for approximately another 2 to 3 weeks once the patient is doing fine in the opd basis also we discharge the patient and the patient can go back to his or her own country and after that we keep a track of the patient through video conferencing as well as through email uh for bone marrow transplantation we need quite specialized procedure and dedicated team of doctors and nurses at our bukad hospitals north bombay we have a dedicated bone marrow transplantation unit which has state of the art hepa filter room with laminar flow to prevent the patients from catching infection we also have uh, round the clock availability of irradiated specialized blood products for transfusion to this patient we have dedicated team of nurses dedicated chemotherapy bay dedicated nutritionist physiotherapist to take care of these patients during this extremely critical period 
For further queries regarding bone marrow transplantation for any diseases, spot diseases for example related to blood cancer, hemoglobinopathy, thalassemia, bone marrow failures, you can log on to vocardhospitals.com or you can email us your queries, we will be more than happy to assist you. Thank you.